Here is a 1974 Heathkit signal tracer. And this is just a, a small tube type amplifier and a tuning eye just used to uh, detect the presence of audio signals. It's got some hookups here so that you can uh, substitute the output transformer in this unit for one in a radio or substitute in the speaker. I was having some trouble with this. I had a long time ago put a new power cord on it but didn't do much else with it and it was really having intermittent operation so I wanted to use it to check out this transistor radio to see if I can pick up an audio signal anywhere. So I just gave it a full restoration job. I put on a, a new 1N4007 diode, new filter capacitors, uh, redid the power cord wiring, redid some of the wiring going to the speaker and since it was a kit some of the wiring was kind of flaky and there's the fuse holder. It's got a 1629 tuning eye tube and uh, this uses a 12CA5 output tube and 12AX7 preamp and I think it uses a 12 volt filament circuit because these are I think military surplus tuning eye tubes. By 74 they probably weren't making any more 65s so they had to turn to, uh, to this tube which has a 12 volt filament so I'm going to plug it in now. It's got a control for turning the speaker on and off if you wanted to hook an external amp up to the, these terminals to use the speaker or if you just wanted to view the signal on the tuning eye. So plug it, plug it in now. The tuning eye should start lighting up here. Okay, there's the tuning eye. I'm going to start the CD player up. I like to stroll on the coast of Del Sol at sunrise. It's a fairly high gain amplifier, so if you turn this up too far, it ends up distorting. I think it, you could probably plug an electric guitar into this and play it with the amount of gain it has. You can laugh and call me fatso. That's okay by me. You can turn the speaker off and just view the signal on the tuning eye. Class ticket buyers. For the input, I put a uh, 0.01 capacitor. Turn that down a little bit. I put a 0.01 630 volt capacitor in the hot line to isolate the. Uh, signal tracer from the circuit, make sure that, in this case, to make sure that any a short in a tube wouldn't send high voltage back down the line into a sensitive component. And I just, I put some alligator clip leads on this cable here. So it doesn't really sound all that great, but it's, it doesn't really need to. It just got a little speaker just used to detect the presence of audio probably with a, uh, if, if there was some more resistance put in here, or if the audio signal was put into the second triode, it probably would be better as an audio, just a more high fidelity amp. But now it's really doing what it should do, and there's no intermittency, so I'll, I'll use it now to test this transistor radio.